he was just happy and we had no warning. Alyssa and Rob Black are still in shock, grieving their son, Andrew. He became upset about something and we know that he walked into a gun shop at 11.02. They ran a background check on him. The credit card receipt from the gun was 11.26, and somewhere between 3 and 4 that afternoon, he shot himself. In the 23-year-old's obituary, written by his parents, brother, and sister, they ask that in lieu of flowers, people call their state representatives and ask for legislation that imposes a waiting period between purchasing a firearm and possessing it. They believe that would provide a cooling off period to help guard against impulsive acts of violence. It was way too easy for this 23-year-old kid to go down and, and buy a gun. If, if nothing but 24 hours to, to just cool down and, and, and realize that it wasn't, it, wasn't, it wasn't the answer. Both parents want everyone to know they're not anti-gun. We are responsible gun owners. We believe in our Second Amendment right to own guns. But we also think, what's the big deal? What is 24 hours? The Blacks believe had there been a waiting period, their son, who loved hiking, craft beer, and being a Vermonter, would still be with them. In Colchester, Renee Wunderlich, NBC5 News. Well, a day after Andrew's obituary first appeared in print, some state lawmakers say they are already hearing from constituents. Remember, Governor Scott signed a suite of gun reforms into law back in April, but there was no waiting period for buyers to take possession of a gun. Now, Senator Philip Baruth says he hopes to build a consensus in Montpelier to change that. A waiting period, a short waiting period, is a good idea and always has been. And there are a couple of other good ideas that I'd like to pursue. The question is, uh, to what extent, after the success of last year, to what extent can you get people to buy in? What's the answer to that? Well, it took five years to pass universal background checks. Senator Baruth telling NBC5 today he supports new legislation to require a 48-hour waiting period on gun purchases, require firearms be stored securely while, while not in use, and he wants to ban 3D gun blueprints.